Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 5th of 2022. Well, it is titled Carina Cliffs from the Webb Space Telescope. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of what is known as the Carina Nebula. And that is a great nebula in the southern portions of the sky. And we're actually looking at the northern part of that nebula. And what we see is up above a cluster of stars. And in fact, we can see a few of those stars that have formed from the gas and dust that was present in this area. And down below, we still see knots of gas and dust down below where stars are continuing to form. So when star formation occurs, it doesn't occur in one great burst, it can take time as it works its way through the nebula. And it will start on one end and it may take millions of years to work its way through to the other side. So while some stars have already formed and we see those up above, we see new stars are still forming in the knots of material down below. Now this is an image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, giving us much more detail than was ever possible before. The James Webb Telescope is much larger in size than the Hubble Space Telescope was and is not burdened by atmospheric effects that affect the uh, telescopes on Earth. Now will we have some methods that we use to try to get around the atmosphere certainly being up above the atmosphere gives us much better and sharper images. Now we see the cliffs here at the edge and that is where material uh, is being pushed back by the stars that have formed. The newly formed stars have very strong stellar winds and high radiation pressures that push back the gas and dust away from where they had formed. So they're getting pushed downward in this image and continuing to compress and the denser areas will stick out. You can see a few knots of material that are sticking out pointing up towards the stars. Those are the densest areas and likely at the core of those is a new star just in the process of forming. Could we give it another couple hundred thousand years, there would be a change there and you would see a new star that has formed and broken out of that cocoon. Further down below, we continue to see that process continuing. And this will happen over the next million years or so as the intense energy from the stars that have formed eats away at the gas and dust, pushing it outward until finally all we'll have left behind is the new cluster of stars that has formed. So it is a process. It's essentially a battle between the gas and dust down below and the stars that form from it up above. And in the long run, it is the stars that will win. The stars formed from that gas and dust will eventually clear out the gas and dust that is remaining, leaving us just a new cluster of stars. So that was our picture of the day for September 5th of 2022. It was titled Carina Cliffs from the Webb Space Telescope. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.